Late at night, I toss and I turn, for I dream of what I need. Legend of Heroes. That's right, guys. I'm Loaf Dog, and we're back with Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. As always, with this series, it's been quite a while, but that shouldn't be the case anymore, because I'm focusing on series one at a time. Uh, from now and um, and so yeah we should see this through to the end thing is I actually went on reddit and asked the the guys and girls over at Falcom um, r slash Falcom of course um, what the best course of action was because I forgot to do all of the side missions it seems like the consensus was like eh don't worry about it but start doing them now that you've uh, remembered that they exist so I think we are yeah are we on the Aryan Causeway we should be right um map yeah thank you Aryan Causeway yeah so we had a couple of missions here now we just have to find where those are actually so uh, I lost my orbital gun prototype along the Aryan Causeway yeah, I think I dropped it when I was attacked. And then... A ferocious monster known as Helmet Crab has been spotted roving near the Sephiroth Tower. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, no, but near the Sephiroth Tower. Yeah, this is the one. Please come ASAP directly to Airlet and at the east end of the Orion Causeway. Right? Yeah, I think that's it for this part of the map. Okay, so... Well, Air Latin is this way. So we can start by going there. At least we know where it's supposed to be. Why did I run into an enemy? <laughs> oh, they're like cute little boars, I think. Or watermelons. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can hold our own against these guys. Yeah, as always, I'm not too happy about uh, Joshua and Estelle's attack, but... Chloe should come in clutch here. Come on. Oh, they're too far away. Um, yeah. Can I use any type of uh, magic, maybe? It's been a while, so I have to remember all their attacks and stuff. Um, a preemptive airstrike. On anybody? Yes. No. <laughs> they moved, and I selected the other one. <laughs> And she missed. Wow. Okay. Why do I keep hitting this one? I don't care about the little ones. I want the big one. Okay. Mm, yeah, let's just get close. It's probably for the best. Defense down. Wow. Okay. Whoa, whoa, chill, little guys. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, Chloe is a little sturdier than the other ones. Sure. Why not at this point? Yeah, missed. Huh. Yeah, I guess Joshua was pretty lucky this time. Okay, attack. Can I reach him? Yes. There you go. Oh, okay. I thought she would have dealt more than 200 points of damage, but still. That was enough. I also gotta remember that they don't uh, get their health back once the, the turn is over here, so... Yeah, should start healing Joshua. Wait, maybe she had some healing spells. Yes. Um, For an ally, for an ally. Something for all allies, yes. Mm, that's a little too much, I think. Yeah. Oh, come on. The circle is so little. Ah, uh, man. Uh, well, at this point, just do this. Yeah, why not? I don't even know if he... No, he doesn't have a thousand points of... Yeah. But I mean, neither does she. 
Those are pretty, like, advanced spells for just a teenage girl. Mm, something's up with her, for sure. No, not art, but craft. You know, as a student of my craft, I have to hone my skills. I guess so, dear Joshua. Uh-huh, beast flesh. Pretty tasty. You can, you know, cook it in a pan. You could put it in the oven. I don't know. There's tons of ways to cook beast flesh. Okay, so this is the checkpoint. Who was the quest giver? Um... Mm -mm. Not this one, uh, secret, no, okay, CWO Han, okay, are you Han, no, probably not, right, it's gotta be inside the checkpoint, ooh, again, mm, I don't hear anything, damn it, what is going on, is the royal army really going to just roll over for some big wig? Wait, didn't I do this already? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is the... No. No, 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 no. Please tell me I picked the wrong save file. It's not that I didn't save, right? Um... No, come on. Okay, I guess I didn't save after doing that um, that quest. But yeah, this was in the previous episode, so I guess I'll just deal with it and uh, come back to you guys when, once this is over. Okay, I've completed the quest again. And I gotta say, this time I chose all the right options, and it was a little bit funnier. They basically scared the duke into getting out of the of the outpost. They were like, uh, cockroach, uh, monsters. And the dude was like, oh my god, get me out of here. Anyway, this leaves us with, um, with what? Well, with the this monster, which I, well, near the Sufferall Tower. Uh, yeah, let's go and check it out. Should be here, right? Yeah, beware of monsters. Of course. It's monsters that should beware of us. Nah, not really. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, let me save. Yeah, that, that would be good, right? <laughs> yeah. Before I lose some more progress. Okay, Sufferall Tower. What are you, monster? Come out already, ooh. Tear bomb. And you have found disappointment. Ah, uh, don't I ever, don't I ever. Is it inside the tower? Because I honestly would avoid going there. Although I guess that is kind of the point. Yeah, because probably we don't need to go to the tower like ever and this is the woo hoo hoo preemptive attack at least oh are those little sheep nice helmet oh there it is okay that was easy um then i guess we'll get rid of these guys first mint palm let's see how much ooh okay nice nice i like what i'm seeing um art Stone hammer, perhaps? Yeah, why not? And you, my girl, you're the most important piece of the puzzle. Um, preemptive airstrike. Well, it does debilitate the guy, so yeah, probably. Come on, Zeke. Um, okay. <laughs> what? It was reflected. Excuse me, dude. It's a helmet, not a mirror. Like, what the... F okay. 
That was unexpected. Um, <laughs> then does magic work on the guy? Hmm. Weird. In the meantime, let's get rid of these other enemies. Because I'm sure they'll they'll be a pain otherwise. And they steal EP. Cool. Da, 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 da. Okay, what to do? I'm actually thinking. Hmm. How much damage did I do to the little guys? I can't even target them because they're behind this. Um, okay. Then... Should I try the super attack? Or is it gonna be reflected as well? Hmm. Yeah, it's better not to risk it. Maybe let's just go for a stone hammer. And then... Uh, she can heal somebody. Oh, come on. I keep pressing the wrong button. Um, yeah, tear on Joshua, yeah. Okay, that's better. Called for, oh, come on, that's not cool, dude. Okay, okay, that works. And it did quite some damage, actually, so. Yeah, yeah, I think we might get out alive for once. Well, maybe not Joshua. <laughs> uh, my dude, you will keep dual striking these guys. Okay. Didn't I already have it? Maybe they stole it from me. Um, while I think that healing Joshua would be Mm, the best course of action, but maybe, yeah, if I let uh, Chloe attack the guy, he'll probably die right away. Although, well, probably not water-based, right? Oh, wait, yeah, everything does damage, okay. Then what is the most powerful stone impact, probably? Yeah, let's do it like this. Hoping that it doesn't hurt jo no. Come on, dude. Really? Ah, fudge. Not now. That was so mean. Um, well, I guess I'll heal myself. Yeah, and the other guy will come here, so... Oh, no. Okay. Wow. Joshua did more damage with the blades. Okay. Oh, but he fled. <laughs> da -da -da -da, da -da -da, Joshua's dead. Um, reviving? Should I? Come on. The radius is so little. Like why don't why wouldn't you let me use it on the whole map? At this point, I guess, stone hammer, why not? And you, girl, you mm, will use aqua bleed. Yeah, I think it should suffice. Huh. That was more than enough, apparently. Yeah, mm, I mean, I don't know. Joshua pro is probably not. Monster Carapace, and... Mm, but something's weird. Yeah, that probably wasn't it, right? A ferocious monster known as a Helmet Crab near the Sufferal Tower. Uh, so probably, it probably doesn't count in here. But then what's the point of all the towers? They're probably like uh, extra dungeons, I guess, right? Hmm... Cause I mean, near the tower, it could only be here, right? Unless they're referring to the the actual road. But then again, I don't think I've spotted any. Oh, crabity crab! 
Na, 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 na. Yep, no crab. Unless, no, that's not a crab. <laughs> that's a huge problem, though. Yeah, I figured. They're a little too large for my liking. So, I just ran away, thank you very much. I mean, they do 300 damage. Chloe is only, uh, has only 600 health points, like... Um, no, that's not it either. Yeah, I'm confused, I don't know, I'll look up a guide later. Let's just do something meaningful for the time being. Um, yeah, let's go to the mayor's residence, at least we know where it is, and we'll know what to do. And that will also give us a chance to rest, because we really need to rest. Am I going the right way, though? Is this gonna take me to the... Ooh. Found Deathblow 2. The Revenge. Reduce the searching empty chests. That's really sad. I mean, it's sad, but... You never know. Uh, there's gonna come a time... Yeah, okay. There's gonna come a time where when I look into a chest again and find something new, and then let's see who'll laugh. Okay, give me the map. Not this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, various shops. Don't care about those. Okay, I guess I gotta cross the bridge. Once again, I'm sorry if I have to look up everything again, but yeah, it's been like almost two months, so... I'm not really up to speed. Um... Should I report back for the other things we've done? Yeah, why not? Unless... Unless... Joshua and Estelle don't take... Um, any XP, because they're dead. Then it's probably best to just rest. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Nighty-night. Okay, all fresh and ready to go. Hey, dude. Bracer, dude. I don't remember your name. We've done a couple of jobs. Report. Nice. Okay. Okay, only a couple of thousand Mira. Was expecting a little more, but it's fine. I don't do it for the money, of course. Much obliged. You appear to have achieved your goal without injury. If you complete any other jobs, be sure to give me all the juicy details. Of course, my man, you know it. Now, the mayor's residence, which of course would be Septian Church, Orbal Factory Lodgings, Bracer Guild. Mm. I mean, uh, it's probably in the south block, right? I could also go to the church. There was another mission there, I think. Um, are you the guy? Yep. Huh? I saw you guys the other day. Nice to see you again. Oh, hi. You're the guy we met on the beach, right? You can call me Jimmy. You really saved my scheme before, so let me thank you again. So, have you checked out the bulletin board today? Well, yes. But why in liberal did you pick here to meet, of all places? Well, I kinda stand out here, don't I? You're the only person, yeah. Aside from the priest, I mean. <laughs> I mean, it costs a lot to put up one of those requests, and I figure people will see, me, will see me here and ask, Hey, why are you in the chapel? And then I'll be like, so that you can help me find some awesome treasure. Well, then how about we get down to business? That request of yours certainly sounds intriguing. <laughs> Glad you agree. Yep, I actually just acquired an ancient map a short while ago. And you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Wouldn't believe what now? It leads to the treasure of the great pirate, Shermer. What? No way. But, um, I don't really know who that is. You've never heard of Shermer? Aren't you from Ruan? Or 
Wait, are you from somewhere else? <laughs> Either way, Shermer, how can you not know? Don't go making assumptions. If memory serves me correctly, Shermer was a pirate that used to um work in the waters around Ruin around a hundred years ago. Precisely. Nicely done. Leave it to the Royal Academy to teach the right things. Shame about the uniform, though. Wow, you know a lot, Chloe. Come on, Estelle. It's not that impressive. It's just a story I heard. That's all. I'd like to ask you to look for Shermer's treasure. The location is marked on the map. Do you remember where I was when we met before? It was a pit in a sandy beach. Yeah, I remember. The Gull Seaside Way, right? Exactly. The map has that pit marked. Is that why you were there? That's right. I was conducting a field survey. And since I found the place, monsters have started showing up. So I figured that I should get some professionals to take over. So what's next after the pit? The map shows an X to the southeast of it. I figure that's got to be the location of the treasure. You might be right. Oh yeah, I need to make a note of this. Well, let's take a minute to work out a plan. We go to the beach in Ruin, find the pit, and go directly southeast from there. Well, that's that then. You've done a great job. Thank you. Um, but will we ever find it? All we know is to look southeast from the pit, and will we keep it? Of course we will. Whoa, that's a large text box. <laughs> Yes, and considering how wide the beach is, that still leaves a large area to search. Yeah, we don't ju we just don't have enough information. Hey, come on guys, don't be getting all negative on me now. If you comb every inch of the beach on the Gull Seaside Way, I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. So, in other words, treat it like a test of endurance? Sounds right up your alley, Estelle. Well, I suppose you're right. But still, it wouldn't hurt to just to just have a tiny bit more to go on. It's not the most efficient way to go about it, but what other choice do we have? We'll just have to search the beach from top to bottom and hope we find something. Uh, I guess you're right. Okay, if we find anything, we'll be sure to let you know. I'm counting on you. Any treasure we find, we split equally. So 25% for you, right? That's what you're talking about. I mean, there's four of us. Don't don't even try and be like, well, well, 50% goes to me because you're like uh, an organization, so you only count as one. No, dude, don't even try it. It's not gonna work. I mean, we are doing most of the work. Like, I guess you found a map. Yeah, hooray, bravo. But like, come on. Was the pit? Uh, yeah, okay. No, couldn't have been near Minoria Village, right? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, let's let's keep going. Cause yeah, I don't think it was down here. It wasn't this one. No, 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 no. Although there is a a closed treasure chest there. Yeah, okay. This is where it was. I think. Um, yeah, this is the pit, and then southeast, directly, so like here, I could have avoided that so easily. Well, I could also do this, yeah. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to skip every single uh, encounter, but like, come on. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think this isn't it, right? Oh, you forgot to say the magic word. <laughs> yeah, but hmm, let's take a look at the map. Southeast. I mean, it depends on which point you actually take, but like, let's say here, and you go southeast. Yeah, it should be on this line. Hmm. Near the rocks, maybe? No? I mean... 
is there something that I can do? Like, will uh, an exclamation mark um, pop out or uh, or what? Like, how am I supposed to know if I'm in the right um, place? Do I even... Did I even take a look at the map? Do I have it? Nah. Um, which one was it? Yeah. You basically just have to follow the beach heading toward Ruan. Hmm. You think more, more like in the water? That would be quite uh, difficult to retrieve then, though. Even though I guess if you place it somewhere and then the tide changes, you wouldn't really know, so... Um, maybe in this little corner here, once this dude leaves? No, 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 fudge. Okay. Surprise attack. Sure, this is so surprising, I wasn't expecting it at all. Oh no, they've blinded Chloe. Hmm. I don't know if I should retaliate or just... Yeah, why not? Right? It's so easy. <laughs> oh, but man, yeah, I really don't know where this treasure is. I mean, let's go a little more south than east, maybe. Yeah, this isn't gonna work, is it? Monsters appeared. Yay! Oh, now I remember. I don't assume this has anything to do with the quest, right? I mean, I'm gonna try to beat them. Mm, yeah, let's see if it works. Uh, soul blur. Mm, nah. Oh, I can't. Yeah, okay. Just attack, dude. Hmm, nice. Ooh, okay. We might have a chance with Chloe with us. Yeah, that, this isn't good. I'm not too worried about that, though, because I've equipped something against confusion on Chloe, so... We should be fine. Um, art. Yeah. Let's heal Joshua. He needs it. Now, ooh, you know what? You know, you know what? Stone impact. Yes. Oh, but they're... The water actually does more damage. Blue impact? Yes. Oh, it's just an enemy? A single enemy? Yeah, single enemy. Okay, Aqua Bleed. Nah, it's still a single enemy. Ah, uh, that sucks. Mm. Well, I mean... They still get 100% of damage from Earth um, element, so... It's probably... Yeah, let's try this. Come on, don't get out of the circle! There we go, Chloe. Yes. Okay. Would have been cooler if you killed them all, but I understand. Yeah, yeah, HP heal. See what I care. You're gonna get destroyed. Ooh. Yeah, that must have hurt Joshua's pride more than anything else. Haha, <laughs> resist. It was a good move to equip that. Like I wasn't even sure. Um, I've seen it. I've seen the like um, her stats and stuff. I was like, well, maybe she doesn't need it, but why not? And my decision was right. Um, stone impact again. Ooh, sure. I mean, they're all, they'll all be close to me now. So, haha. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Take them all out. Ooh. -hoo. 
That's how we do it, my girl, Chloe. Well, that takes care of that. <laughs> Prickly seed. Ruby talisman. Yeah, okay, we do get something if we kill the monsters. Mm, let's check it out, actually. Equip. No. Chloe. Ruby Talisman. A talisman crafted from a type of septium. The wearer's attack and defense will become fire-based. Ah. Oh. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Depends on the enemy, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I would avoid it for now. Although we are on the beach, like... It's probably fair to assume that enemies will be uh, resistant against uh, water and they will get damaged by fire but I'm not super super sure anyway let me get some rest at the hotel and then I'll come back here and find the treasure okay so it turns out it was a little more southeast than I could have imagined it's in the other uh, screen it's not in the same level as the little alcove it's this one maybe yeah if only I could get past this friend. Monsters appeared. How nice. Ah, uh, it's still these ones. Okay. Um, yeah, Chloe does get to act before them, but... I don't know if it's gonna work. Because it takes a little time. To conjure up a spell. No, 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 no. Stone impact. Mm, sure, although he'll move 100%. Okay, eh. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Oh, but they all get to act before them. Okay, well. Then let's just stay in this area. It's probably, yeah, the better option. Um... Let me do Aqua Bleed on one of these. Come on, come closer. Yes. You too? Yes, you as well, dude. Nice. Okay. He doesn't... Oh, he's like incapacitated. Nice. Okay. It's your turn, girl. Don't let me down. Oh, yes! Okay, we can take it. These ones don't use that weird confusion spell. Okay, they're all scattered, which isn't super good. But I guess we'll have to make do. Mm, actually, actually, though. Nice. It was a little overkill, but it's better this way. Uh, aqua bleed on... Okay, whichever. They're all doing pretty... They're all in pretty bad shape. Um, aqua bleed as well. And then Joshua will get to attack with... Um, with the critical, so... Yeah, this fight is over. Boom. Okay, thank you very much, Joshua. I don't even know why I try to count on you. Let's see if Estelle can show you how it's done. Yes. I mean, you, to you totally deserve that, dude. You that was a shot you shouldn't have missed. And look at that. Estelle is now level 13, and you're not. Battle suit. The voices in my lid said you'd return. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't this one either. I'm a little confused now. Although, I would very much like to equip that battle suit. Nice. Yeah, I'll give it to Joshua, just because I'm not super sure what uh, Chloe's deal, deal is. Because, like, if she'll 
um, be removed from the party. Uh, would I lose my, my stuff or not? I don't know. So it's best to just be super careful about this, you know? Still... Oh, what's that? Was that a monster? Weird. Hmm, look at this. Yeah, this is probably the right way. Because this path is like... Yeah, okay. Found skull daggers and a torn map. Wow, awesome daggers. They seem pretty ancient. From the look of them, they may even date back to the Yorbo Revolution. Well, what about that piece of paper? Looks like a piece of sea chart. Do you think... Maybe this is the treasure that Jimmy was talking about? Sorry, but I don't think this has anything to do with it. I'd say this probably washed the shores from somewhere else. It might have been cargo from a shipwreck. Yes, I believe you're right. I heard that such accidents happened often a long time ago. Oh, so before airships, everyone traveled by water, right? I wonder if this beach is right on an old trade route or something then. Could be. Also, I don't see why uh, if you travel um, like by airship, you, you should abandon normal regular ships. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So like, can I just go back or does this not count? Found the torn map and two daggers. Okay, yeah. Let's report back to Jimmy. Then we're off to the mayor's residence. And at that point, we only have like a couple quests left. Like side quests, of course. And then we'll be able to finally go to the festival. Yay! Okay. Mm, as always, I think I'll go and rest. Thank you very much. No. Just because I don't know if Joshua will take um, any HP from this if he's incapacitated. But yeah, we really gotta find a way to, to toughen up these two. I understand, like, your answer might be, well, maybe don't run away from every single encounter you find. Which, fair. But like, I'm running away because they are too weak. And they're too weak because I'm running away, so... <laughs> hey, Jimmy! Oh, you're back. Any sign of the treasure? Um, well, we haven't found, found anything substantial yet, but we did find a couple old daggers and a beat-up map. A, a sea chart? Whoa, this is big stuff. Please, let me see it. Hey, calm down. I don't want you to die of excitement or anything. And the Dover torn map. Whoa, is this what I think it is? Oh wow, this is incredible. This is one of Shermer's treasure maps. What? Hmm? Now hold on a second, mister. You just said a minute ago that you had a treasure map already. That had to have been a treasure map map. My map shows the location of this map, which shows where the actual treasure is. Yeah. This is getting confusing. But I found the chart inside a barrel. Let's not worry about that. Sometimes we have to just suspend our disbelief to get through the day. Ha, <laughs> pretty meta. It may seem a little strange that we'd find a sea chart like that. But I kind of want to believe that there's something to all of this. Yeah, a later quest probably. <laughs> as do I. Um, well, is it, it... It is something to think about. Well, as long as our client is happy, we're happy. Even if we're also very confused. Oh, that's right. Hey, Jimmy, what about the daggers we found with the chart? Hmm? You guys can keep those. I don't have much in the way of Mira, so it's the only payment I can offer. Please, take them. Share in the mystery with me. Okay, thanks. Wow, this really is amazing. This sea chart is just a spectacular find. 
<laughs> Looks like I'll be busy again real soon. Whoa, I can't stick around here. I've got to take this to O'Neill to get it deciphered. It's going to flip. Who's O'Neill? Later, thanks for your help. Well, fuck you too then. O'Neill. Oh, okay, now I get it. So, who is he? He's an older gentleman who runs a general store. He tells lots of interesting stories, but he tends to blow them out of proportion. Yeah, I got what you mean. So I guess that Jimmy's been taken in by the old man's uh, tall tales. Yes, so it would appear. Eh, I knew it sounded too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you, but if it is true, maybe that chart really is the one from Miss Fishtails. That's possible. <laughs> I guess it is a little mysterious. Hey, if we believed in it, I wonder if maybe it would pay off. Honestly, though, I think Jimmy believes a little too, um, fervently. Still, chasing your dreams isn't a bad way to live. Well, assuming your dreams actually get you somewhere. <laughs> if he's gonna waste his life trying to... Trying to get to the treasure and never finds it, then probably he should give up. Okay, to the mayor's residence. Da -da 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 it's gotta be around here, right? Yeah, this is it. Ooh. Look at this. Man, I think. This mayor might be, like, wealthier than the mayor of Bose. Was it Bose? Yeah. Which is something. Maybell was her name, right? Oh dear. I can't believe the sapphire gleam was stolen. And uh, why now of all times? Ah, you're here. I've been waiting for you to show up. Hmm? Ah, Chloe's with you. Uh, yes, I'm accompanying them. We came as soon as we saw the bulletin board. What seems to be the problem? As you can see, this pedestal used to be adorned with a candelabrum. Ah, uh, man. It really just disappeared without a trace, huh? Things being what they are, I would like to ask you to conduct a search. What say you? Are you available? Yes. And with me? Sure thing. Excellent. Now, let me give you some background. The stolen item is a candelabrum, called the Sapphire Glim. It is a fine piece of craftsmanship, dating back to just after the Orbor Revolution. A Dalmor family heirloom, in fact. It would sell for hundreds of thousands of Mira, were it ever placed on the open market. <laughs> hundreds of thousands of Mira? Hey, Joshua, um, you think we could, you know... Take it back and sell it ourselves? Uh, just a, just a, just an idea. I see. It's probably not an issue of petty burglary then. Huh? It's not? You'd have to have some kind of safe way of laundering something that valuable. So whoever took it must be well connected. I get it. So that would rule out most of your everyday thieves. Well, actually. Money wasn't the primary motivation for this crime, it seems. Huh? What do you mean? Look at this card. Oh, it's like uh, Lupin. That which nests here is a beast more dire than any other. Continue to give praise to the spirit whose blue light was lost in the darkness. Free the spark it left behind and I will be free. Ah, Seeker. The eyes of Ideos see only the truth and pass it on to you. Look to the three-eyed giant which towers over this settlement. Do so, and the blue light will be revealed. Phantom Thief B. What's this? A note left behind on the bare pedestal. It appears to be written by the thief himself. He wants us to know he did it? So I'm inclined to believe. Got it. 
if all he was after was money, this is a wee bit excessive. What he wrote must have some significance. It almost sounds like some kind of poetry. Hmm, blue light, lost in the darkness. I'm guessing the blue light refers to the stolen candelabrum? Yes, I'd imagine so. The candelabrum is said to have been made at great pains by the townsfolk and was given as a gift. That might explain the give praise to the spirit part. Oh, I get it. Totally, yeah. So, what about the last part? Sounds like it wants us to look in a specific direction. Look to the three-eyed giant which towers over this settlement. Well, it certainly sounds like it's trying to tell us where to go. And the destination has to be important somehow. The settlement bit probably refers to ruin. So there must be some kind of three-eyed giant somewhere in the city. Hmm, a giant. Well, it's obviously a clue. I'll make a note of it. I can be of little use in this matter. I must be off soon, as I have other work to which I must attend. And so, I shall leave you to your investigation. Sure thing. So, first thing is to search this room, top to bottom. That won't be necessary. Why not? I don't want your filthy hands over the furniture. It has already been looked over by the residents. I'd like for you to search the surrounding area. But but The card left you with a distinct clue to follow. Don't tarry. Terry? I don't know. That candelabrum must be recovered. I see. Then we will abide by your wishes. I guess the client is always right, jerk. Please understand I have no desire to interfere with the professionals in this matter. I greatly appreciate your understanding. Now I'll leave you to concentrate. I'll be upstairs, so let me know if you find anything out. What a jackass, right? Man, this is a strange case. I guess we just have to see where the card leads us. There must be a hint somewhere in ruin. I guess we'll just have to be patient and stay focused. Come on, let's get moving. I mean, three-eyed giant. Mm, oh, let me save. Because we never know. Uh, but yeah, three-eyed giant. What could it be? Could it be... Because, mm, like, yeah, the, the biggest thing here is the the, the harbor, the port. Mm, I don't know. Can I check the map? Uh, this is These are warehouses. The bridge. Mm. Yeah, let's roam around a little bit. We'll find the answer eventually. Three-eyed, though. Uh, O'Neill. Can I talk to O'Neill about the the map? Talk. The Rebonin Empire used to be a much smaller country than it is today. After all the repeated attacks, the different nations and peoples basically merged into one large nation. Still, the Imperial family has absolute control internally, just as they always have. I passed through that area before, and things got pretty tense. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I know. Nice loaves, though. Um, Three-eyed. Three-eyed dragon. Mm, the church? Nah. Da, 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 da. Houses, houses, arms and guards. Uh, oh, wait a second. I don't think so, but like, could it be this pillar? Three-eyed, yes. Nice. So it is a lighthouse. Is this the dude we were supposed to give stuff to? I'm not gonna talk to him just in case, because I, I think we had to uh, deliver a package and also some wine and some food. I think I got the alcohol. I, I'm still missing the food, so I'm not gonna talk to him. Hmm, what's wrong? Hey, th that's a card, isn't it? Let's have a look. This is definitely it. 
it's the same card that we saw in the mayor's estate. I see. So this is what the card meant by three-eyed. Yep. Ah, I see. This might be the three-eyed part of the clue. So, is anything written on it? Let's see. Ah, uh, Seeker. The eyes of ideas see only the truth and pass it on to you. Look to the endless waltz which unfolds between the red and black. Do so, and the blue light will be revealed. Phantom Thief B. Looks like the next spot's been picked. Look to the endless waltz which unfolds between the red and black. Red and black? That has to mean something in ruin, don't you think? Probably, yeah. I guess the criminal sure must love his puzzles. He won't break his own rules. What a total jackass. Oh well, let's start searching. Red and black, was it? I already forgot. Uh, secret, no. Uh, candelabrum. No, 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 look at the endless walls which unfolds between the red and black. Red and black. Uh... Let's think about this. Red and black. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, let's let's take a look at the landing port. Any red? Any black around here? Oh, oh. What's this? Oh, okay, just a sign. <laughs> uh, red and black don't seem to be here, though. It's funny though, like, because <laughs> uh, the dude said, I'll leave you to your investigation. It's funny because thinking about it, like, I'm, I'm bringing some different games to the channel, but like, in one way or the other, we're always investigating in each of the games. It's so funny to me. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. No. Well, yeah, I guess in the south block then. Unless... Red and black. Casino. Could it be? Yes. Dude. Uh, have you found a card or something? Do you have a roulette uh, spot? Yes. They do. Bro, it's here. It's here. Um, No. The roulette wheel doesn't spin as freely anymore, and that simply won't do. The most important thing is making sure that the customers enjoy themselves. Yes, but... Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it! A red and black waltz? I can't imagine it means anything but roulette. I think you're right. Let's check it out. Is there something you're looking for, sir and madams? Sorry, but we'll be done in just a moment. Oh, yeah, sure, it's not like you're on, pro on, a, on a private property just touching my stuff. Aha, found it. A card is glued flat to the surface. So, it should have the next message, right? Yeah, let's take a look. Ah, uh, Seeker, the eyes of ideas see only the truth and pass it on to you, you, you. Rest at the land harbor and look to the one-eyed lion. Do so when the blue light will be revealed. Land Harbor. One-Eyed Lion. Okay, I've added it to my Bracer Notebook. The important parts are probably Land Harbor and the One-Eyed Lion. One-Eyed this time. It's always made more sense once we got there before. I doubt this will be any different. Yeah, I guess we need to get a move on. A madman's clues must be followed after all. <laughs> Spiridion's like, what? Sorry to cause all the fuss. Okay, so off to the harbor we go. And this is the wrong way. Okay, right this way. Mm, okay, let's see. Shouldn't take too long, right? Uh, what's this? Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't even know. 
Thank God the perspective was switched this way, otherwise. I get it, the one-eyed lion. I wonder if there's a way to keep it from seeing you. This must be the land harbor. No doubt about it. Alright, let's see what we can find. Okay, found the card. <laughs> Look at the little smiley face sticker on the on the motorcycle. <laughs> we should confirm its contents. Right. Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Ideas see only the truth and pass it on to you. Beyond the drawbridge, looks, look to the barrels near the steel crane. Do so and the blue light will be revealed. Well, no, actually, I'ma have to disagree with you, Estelle. This seems kinda straightforward. Hmm, <laughs> another weirdo clue. Now it's a steel crane? Sounds suspiciously easy to figure out this time. The drawbridge it mentions is probably the one over in the harbor. Ugh, how much longer are we going to have to do this? <laughs> I'm sure we must be nearing the end. We must have to, we just have to keep going. Okay, Estelle, what do you need to pick up your spirits? Um, I'm just tired is all. I'm fine, really. See, I'm ready to get back in the game. I swear. I mean, could you blame her? We've been doing the rounds of the city for this stupid thief. So, no, wait a second. The the steel crane beyond the drawbridge. Yeah, and they said and they said the one in the harbor. It wouldn't make much sense to go look for any other place like they wouldn't have steel cranes, right? Yeah, it's got to be this. Unless... No, we can't reach it. Ah, no, they're probably talking about the... The the actual... Like, ship harbor. Maybe? Was there another one? I think so. Let me, let me go around. Let's see. Southern block... Yeah, like here. But wait a second. Yeah, I really gotta rotate a little bit. Otherwise... Oh, yeah, this is the one. Hmm. That's weird. This must be the steel crane, but... There are no barrels to be found. Well, what the heck is this stupid clue supposed to mean, then? Hey, mister... Huh? What is it? You seen any barrels around here? Barrels? Can't say that I can recall. The warehouse is packed full of them, though. Ah, oh well. Um, the warehouse? What's wrong? Um, I was just thinking. Didn't we find the warehouse key earlier? Yes, at Mr. Hark's request. And we haven't talked to him either, right? The barrels near the crane were moved to the warehouse. I get you. You're thinking that the barrels that were here are all inside now. You're probably right. Nice going, Estelle. Hehehe, <laughs> it does happen from time to time. Okay, let's go see what Mr. Harg has to say. Uh, wasn't this Mr. Harg? No? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Harg was, of course... Um, let's see if the journal can help us. Actually, Harg, let's go ask. Yeah, thank you very much, but like, yeah, we gave it to him. Um, is he in the bar again? Oh, wait, I can, huh, I didn't know this. I can just, um, get the pointer up here and the menu pops up. Huh, cool. Is he here again? Nah. Mr. Harg? Nope. Hmm. Well, could he be at the warehouse? No, locked. This one is the bad guys one, though. Right? Yeah. Or maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, I'm a little confused 
I'm a li 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 little confused. No, okay, locked. And locked yet again. Dude, where are you? Um. Ah, there he is. Good afternoon, Hark. We have a question for you. We? Oui? What do you want? I was wondering what kind of work you were doing when you lost the key. You said you were moving the barrels near the crane to the warehouse. Is that correct? Yep, sounds right. It was actually just one barrel, though. It was in the way of the crane, see, so it had to be put in storage. I lost the key some time after that. Sorry to be a bother, but is there any way we could get into the warehouse? We'd like to examine that barrel. Well, the management doesn't approve of outsiders entering our warehouse. It's pretty detective fact. The stuff that's stored there is supposed to be secure, you know. My job's at stake, so I really can't let you inside. Man, that's a problem then. Still, I owe you one. I'll see what I can do. You just wanted to check out with that one barrel, right? Yes, that is correct. Well, I can take it out for a spell then. That way you can look it over all you want. Uh, without ever having to go inside. Hooray for loopholes. Ah, okay. Thanks, that would be a huge help. It is no big deal. Follow me then. And what's inside the barrel? Well, okay, it's open. I got a second here. Oh, Mr. Portus. What you doing around here? Oh, I just had a hunch about something. So I used a duplicate key to get in the warehouse and check on it. Uh, a duplicate? I didn't even know there was one. Anyway, who are these folks? Oh, they're bracers. They want to look over that barrel I moved in here earlier. It's part of their investigation. Ah, I see. But I'm afraid that only authorized personnel are allowed inside the warehouse. Yeah, but I'm the one who moved it in there in the first place. Should be okay if I bring it outside for a short while so they can look it over now. Yes, that should be fine. Please assist them in their investigation. Surprised to see Bracers coming all this way for an investigation, though. Such young ones, too. You guys do some admirable work. <laughs> we well, we do all right. If you need any information, feel free to ask Hark. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thank you, sir. I hate him. Alrighty, I'll bring the barrel. Phew, sorry for the long wait. Here's the barrel you wanted. Wow, this thing is huge! And you actually carried it all by yourself. <laughs> Never underestimate a dark hand. I found a card, Estelle. Well, really? What were you expecting? Like, I must apologize most profoundly, for the barrel to have been moved was an error most inopportune. But the warehouse key was recovered and you have made it here. I will reveal the truth unto you. Unto you. Your reward will be what you have sought. Look within the barrel. The candelabrum you find will, no doubt. What? <laughs> be returned. Oh, the cum the candelabrum you find will, no doubt, be returned to its rightful owner. Ah, time grows short. We will meet again. Phantom thief be. Like, I read that wrong for a second. I was like, are they doing a Yoda impression? <laughs> the candelabrum find you will. Uh, I've got a bad feeling about this. This weirdo must have been close by watching us. Indeed. Hey, look at the card. Some of the ink is still wet. What? Hey, what do you think you're doing here? Uh, oh, uh, Mr. Portis. Uh, you said earlier that this would be okay. Hmm? What are you talking about? Damn, we've been head. Whoa, no way. You were just here a little while ago and... It must have been someone posing as him. The criminal may have worn a disguise and used the opportunity to plant the card. Oh no. 
Well, then we need to get after him. Oh, Estelle. Off she goes. Joshua, shouldn't we do something? I'm afraid it's probably too late. We messed up when we didn't notice the imposter before. I doubt Estelle will find any trace of him. Ah, I see. Let's just make sure the candelabrum isn't damaged. Retrieving it was our main priority, not catching the perp. You're right. It was written that it would be in this barrel. I pray that's true. Haha, <laughs> Porto's being angry with Hark. Oh man. I hope she isn't too disappointed that we're opening this without her. I mean, it's just a... Yeah, a candelabrum. It's just a candlestick. It's like, whatever. <laughs> and that's the story. We got the candelabrum back, undamaged, but we haven't found any clues as to the whereabouts of the thief. All we know is that he calls himself Phantom Thief B. <sighs> if only we'd found out about the fake sooner. He disappeared while we were running around in circles. No, no, you've all done a fine job. The main thing is that the sapphire clean must be recovered. The mayor is right. You've done exactly what was asked of you. Thank you for your kind words. But the fact is, we still allow the thief to escape. Yeah, we can't just let him get away with this. We'd like your permission to continue the investigation. If possible, we want to search the estate for any further clues. No, that's really not necessary. My request did not require you to catch the culprit after all. You brought back the candelabrum. But... Joshua. I understand your passion for upholding justice, but there are other, more important crimes which you must which must be answered for. I do not wish to further monopolize your time over something so trivial. I have no doubt that there are others out there who are waiting for a brace's help. It would please me if you help those in greater need first. Mayor. Understood. Then we will close our investigation. Hmm, oh, fine. And of course, I will compensate you fully for your time and effort. Now, if you'll excuse my rudeness, I must leave. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. We'll also be on our way then. Mm, I don't know, something's fishy. Something fishy is going on. It's like either the mayor or the, um, the help there. Um, one of them's gotta be the thief. Huh. <sighs> Well, that's taken care of, but I wouldn't exactly cut it settled. So it would seem, yes. Hey, come on, Joshua. I know you've got something on your mind. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, a little. I was just wondering why the thief would take the candelabrum if he meant for it to be found. Good question. But it looks like we may never know. The newest card is what really gets me. It's as if this were designed as... A test specifically for you two. Yeah, that's been bugging me too. We need to keep up our investigation. For starters, we still don't know where the, where the crook sneaked in from. Why don't we do some sneaking around of our own and check out the estate? Won't that make us just as bad as the crook we're chasing? Well, then what are we supposed to do? What choice do we have? We're supposed to abide by the client's wishes. For now, we have to be patient. Uh. Alright, let's go. Like the mayor said, there's a lot that still has to be done. Uh, Alright, guess it's back to the drawing board. That seems to be all that we can do for the moment. Quest completed. And with the quest, the episode is completed as well. So, thank you everybody for having followed me thus far. I have been Loaf Dog, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.